Hello and welcome to Studio Across. Today in the studio we're going to be doing um, something we do from time to time and that's a special project. Um, special projects can be one of two things. A special project can be something that a customer has requested or it could be just something that is brand new that has existed as an idea and uh, it's time to get to work. Um, a lot of times, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the creative process. Um, a lot of times, like I said, a design will exist only in the reaches of my mind. I have a particular idea about something that I want to do, and I could have gotten that idea anywhere. Um, it might just be something that uh, I was inspired by by seeing something else, and sets me in a different direction, gets me to thinking, and then I'd say, well, maybe I will uh, do this particular project. So. Uh, today we're working on a special project, which is this little church. I've already uh, done the church in this uh, model. Now, I don't usually make uh, prototype models like this uh, when I have a particular idea. But in this case, I have a customer that uh, doesn't know me really, hasn't worked with me before, and uh, I had to give an idea and uh, let them know basically what I had in mind. So this is the model that I came up with uh, so that I could send that on to my customer and that's what I came up with. So what this allows me to do is have a little clearer uh, understanding about what the finished product is going to look like and give me a little bit more guidance because it won't be this size, it'll be a little bit bigger and then I can do some uh, scale it up a little bit and work from there. So that's what we'll be working on today. It did come uh, when I get special orders. Uh, this is a basically a request came into one of the stores that I'm in and uh, very limited information to begin with. Uh, just a, uh, a little drawing of the church uh, which is a very complex building. If I was to build a uh, scale model say or or architectural model of it. It's got a lot of uh, different components and would be quite difficult to do. But in this case what we're doing is a re an artist representation because this will be a keepsake uh, for the pastor of that church. So customer contacted me, left some information and we go from there. Um, we then got a picture of the church. Uh, again not a lot of information the main element of the church, of course, is its steeple. Uh, quite, quite an interesting uh, piece of architecture there. So we want to basically capture that because that's the main focus of the church. So we get the steeple on there, and then we need a little representation of the building itself. And what this is going to be when it's finished, it's going to be a little box to put uh, gift cards in, uh, well wishes, and so forth. And then this will be given to the pastor. So what we've got in mind. Uh, First of all, we want to tackle the steeple. And what we're going to be using for the steeple is a small piece of wood. Uh, actually, you know, a narrow, little narrow piece of wood. Uh, and this is, we're going to actually use this width and, and cut it to this shape um, and then do some work on it to, to get it into this. Uh, angle configuration. So uh, basically we want to, the finished product when we scale it up is going to be about a 7 inch wide and about 11 inch tall uh, base on it. So let's measure that out. The actual building is going to be about 11 inches, so we'll do, we'll start off, say, with about 14 for now on this bottom portion, and we'll mark that off on our tape, 14, and then 28 for the opposite side, so we'll have two 14-inch pieces, and then we'll cut the angles and go from there. 
It will require a little bit of uh, some different uh, work, mechanical work. We'll have to uh, use the router. So we'll start with that. And we'll get these cut. For that, we'll go to the uh, to the saw. All right, I've got the miter saw set up, so we're going to make a few cuts here and start working on our steeple. Get this lined up. and start doing our kite. Get this lined up. Make sure they're about the same size. Get them as close as possible. And we cut them a little bit longer so we're all right. Then what we need, we'll cut a little bit off just to just to make them the same length. Should even them up fairly well. So that'll be the starting point of our steeple. Now what I'll need is a couple of other short pieces because these are going to have to be mitered together. Uh, when we look at this steeple, we've got a lot going on here. Um, the two halves are going to have to come together and we're going to have to do a miter and put those, or do a a, a, a route routed uh, channel in there, and so they come together. So we're not taking up any uh, more of this wood. It, both sides have to be equal. So you don't want to butt one up against the other and make one side shorter than the other. So the best way to do it is going to be to put an edge along here on one piece and an edge on the other piece, and then join them together at the middle. So we'll cut a short piece. For, uh, that'll basically be the top portion and the top portion looks to be if we're doing 11 inches down here we probably need to do about 8 to 9 inches for that top piece so we'll work on that and nobody ever said I was uh, completely organized but we try to try to keep it a little bit organized uh, it is it is important to uh, keep things clean so that you don't injure yourself by the messes that you make. But also you can't be too organized. I don't think artists are known a lot of times for uh, being overly organized. It's kind of, um, a lot of us exist kind of in uh, creative chaos. But uh, I do like things clean. I like to keep them fairly organized. But the busier you get, the messier things get sometimes. Let's see. Eight inches should be enough. We got plenty of wood. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to take this to actually 10 inches on both. Just so.